This video covers the brain for the Irish Leaving Cert course. I would recommend looking up a few diagrams of the brain and the reason I say this is very often the diagrams that appear on the exam papers look very different to those which you've seen in your book. Your brain is protected by three membranes and they're known as the meninges and in between each of these membranes is cerebrospinal fluid. The cerebrospinal fluid acts as a cushion, it protects your brain. You probably have all heard of meningitis. Meningitis is when there is inflammation of those meninges. It's usually caused by infection and the infection can be bacterial or viral, bacterial being the worst of the two. Let's go through the parts of the brain which you need to know for your exams and link some functions to those parts. The cerebrum, well, this makes up most of your brain and if you're asked for its location, just simply refer to its location as being the forebrain. The cerebrum is linked with all of those activities which you connect the brain to. When you think of the cerebrum, think of brumming along doing your driving test and all the things you need for that. You need to be able to think, you need intelligence, you need memory and you need language. Next up, it's the cerebellum at the back of the brain or the hind brain. So whenever I say cerebellum, I always think of bellum and balance. So the cerebellum is connected to muscle coordination and balance. And here's an alternative version of a diagram you could get. Next up, it's the hypothalamus. And this out of all the sections of the brain is probably the most difficult to pinpoint on a diagram. Just always look for the pituitary gland and label above it. The hypothalamus is involved in controlling homeostasis, things like thermoregulation, your internal body temperature. To help you remember, think of hypothalamus linking with hypo. A hypo is when you have low blood sugar levels and diabetic patients would know all about this. Above the hypothalamus is the thalamus and it's the sorting center for all those impulses that arrive into the brain. So you can see an alternative version of the diagram and where the thalamus would be. It's much bigger than the hypothalamus. The next part of the brain is the medulla oblongata and you'll remember this from the chapter on breathing because it controls breathing. It also controls swallowing, sneezing and other involuntary actions. Just to remind you that the pituitary gland is not part of the brain, it's part of the endocrine system and it's referred to as the master gland. That was the brain and the parts you need to know for your exam. The nervous system will be done on a separate video. Best of luck. Hope you're doing exam papers and writing your own notes and always use your own textbook. Good luck.